Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today I'm making some easy Christmas desserts for you guys. I've only really made one of these desserts, so the other two is like my first time making it, but that's okay, because I read them and thought they would sound really yummy and that you guys would like it too. So without further ado, let's get into this and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Dessert number one is a peppermint and chocolate pudding jar or cup if you have cups. My recipe makes four. For this recipe, you will need four cups or jars, whatever you have. I'm using these that I found at Walmart, but you can use any that you like. One package of instant chocolate pudding mix. One container of Cool Whip. I just so happen to have the fat-free kind. One package of Oreos and one tiny vial of peppermint oil. Do not use essential oil. This is edible. And I found it in the hobby aisle of Walmart, but you can also find it at a hobby store like Michael's. Optional items are chocolate sauce, any kind you like, and crushed peppermints. First, you're going to make the pudding and you'll just follow the box instructions. So pudding mix, cold milk, you mix it all up and you set it aside so it'll set. Next, you'll crush your Oreos. Take the Oreo apart, scoop out the inside, put the inside in a bowl, and the cookies in a baggie. I'm sure you guys have done this before, so it's not new news. You'll do this to about one sleeve of the cookies, more or less, depending on how many you're making. Then you'll crush your Oreos and set those aside. Okay, I'll be honest. I screwed up this step the first time around. You're about to see my idiot self pour a fourth of a teaspoon into this bowl of Cool Whip. No! Don't do that. I swear, all I could breathe was peppermint for the rest of this vlog. That's how strong it was. When I did it again, I did two drops and even that was borderline too much. It was tolerable, but it was like borderline. So take my advice and if you go to do this, just do one tiny drop. That's all you'll need. Now that your Cool Whip is made correctly, because you're smarter than I am, it's time to assemble. Layer your crushed Oreos on the bottom. Then your chocolate pudding. Then your Cool Whip with the peppermint in it. And top it off with your chocolate sauce and crushed peppermints if you like. And there you have it. Dessert number two is one you probably all recognize, peanut butter blossoms. Mine have a secret though. For this, you'll need one egg, half a cup of peanut butter, half a cup of butter or two sticks, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a cup of brown sugar, one and a third cup all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, and Hershey Kisses. My secret is that these are caramel filled. Yum. First, you're going to turn the oven on to 350 degrees. Then you're going to cream together your butter, peanut butter, sugar, and brown sugar with a hand mixer or stand mixer on medium speed until combined and fluffy. Next, you're going to add your vanilla and egg and mix until combined. Now, most people mix their dry ingredients into a separate bowl and gradually add it to the wet. I don't do that because it dirties up another dish. Instead, I add the dry ingredients slowly one by one until it's all combined because it's gonna get all combined anyway. After you've made your dough and it's easily pliable, you'll form your dough into balls and place them on a baking sheet. Mine isn't covered with any kind of wax, paper or anything, at least an inch apart. Bake 12 to 14 minutes. I baked mine 13. This is just how I was taught by my mom, but once the cookies are out of the oven, I place the Hershey Kisses in the center as fast as I can. This makes the chocolate melt just a tiny bit, so the bottom is a little bit melted and the top is still nice and hard chocolate. The last dessert is not only yummy, but very easy to make. All you'll need is two sticks or one cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar. I'm using round crackers because I messed up when I went grocery shopping, <laughs> but you use square crackers. I mean, or you can use round, whichever you want. White chocolate or whatever chocolate you like. And yes, this shot is differently because at this point I was certain not to feel good. And sprinkles for decoration. The first step is to make a quick toffee with the butter and brown sugar in a saucepan over medium heat. 
until it boils. You want to stir this constantly so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan. Once it starts boiling, turn down the heat a little and let it boil for three minutes by itself. Don't stir. Next, line your baking sheet with your crackers, the salt side up. Melt your chocolate with a little bit of milk in your microwave. The milk is so the chocolate doesn't stick to the bottom of your bowl. If you're like me and your toffee didn't come out great, don't worry, trust me, it still tastes good. Spread your butter brown sugar mixture onto your crackers. and pour that over your crackers. Next, you're gonna sprinkle your sprinkles all over and quickly, as fast as you can, transfer it to your fridge to set. Then you will cut and serve. Hey, Mountain Family. I'm really sorry, not just for how I look, good God, girl, but also for the fact that this is only three uh, desserts, but I think I'm catching whatever Devin has. It's like the sickness. He says it's the flu. I don't know if it's the flu, but I think I'm getting it because it just hit me. Oh my gosh, I'm so achy. Like my legs feel so achy. And my back, well my back hurts a lot. If I bend over, I've been bending over a lot in this vlog. So my back feels like it's going to break. And I just can't do it. I just can't. I was going to do one more. I was going to do Buckeyes. And I just, I can't. I hurt so bad. It's like 1 in the morning. I'm very tired. I tried. Just please, please, please. Please appreciate that I tried. <laughs> Please don't hate me because I tried and I just can't. My body hurts. I need to go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm a, again, I'm so sorry it's short, but I tried. And I'll see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye, guys.